Welcome back. So, we've got a really small mail day today. Um, kind of pulling back from the buying quite a bit until I can move some things. Uh, I'll be back and buying some more. So, small stack. Um, we got some Facebook and some eBay stuff. So, go through the singles and I'll go through the slabs. So, the first group of three is from Facebook. Um, so, there's a Juan Soto wood grain variation or short print or whatever you want to call it for Juan Soto's rookie. Not numbered. That's a nice little pickup. There's a Matt Chapman auto from Gypsy Queen. And this is the one that really got me because this is the Kofax short print variation from Stadium Club. Um, <clears throat> so these three I paid 10 bucks a piece. Um, including this one, which I've seen, the only one I could really find on eBay was like 40 bucks. So I, once I saw it for 10 bucks, I just bought the three. Um, and this will get in the PC, the other ones, other ones I'll move. Um, the rest of these cards was another Facebook deal, um, on a few autos. Um, so he actually threw these three in, which was very nice. There's that Jacob Nix auto. There's an Eddie Butler Supreme Styling Auto. I don't think I've ever seen one of these die-cut um, autos in person. So, number to 45. And then a Connor Capel um, Auto. He's got an interesting signature. But these are the ones I actually picked up. Um, first was a Michael Kopech to 99. That'll go in Platinum. Made a group deal on these. Because um, I would say, for me, locally, being in the Philly area, if I can get these for under 10 bucks a piece, then I can do quite well on them. So, all three are Aaron Nola autos. And then, there's a Poppy auto. Very nice from Signature Series. From 2012. It's number to 99. Cabron Hayes, I was surprised to find, <coughs> for cheap. Um, really good prospect, son of Charlie Hayes. Kind of curious to see what he's going to do uh, once he gets called up. A nice auto there. And here's another one that took a flyer on him. His autos are still actually holding pretty well, surprisingly, considering he didn't play at all last season. But... Be interested to see what Miguel Andahar does next year, um, whether with the Yankees or if they move him. Um, but it's triple threads, number 275. But very nice auto there. It's from this year. Um, so we'll see what happens with this one. I picked up cheap, so can't lose out too bad. Um, so the first slab, just three slabs here. Um, 65 tops embossed Mickey Mantle in a three. This is a really interesting set. You can get pretty inexpensive. Um, this one picked up for a fellow YouTuber. Uh, as he, this is one he, he was missing on his, uh, Clemente collection. Um, saw it in a four. The centering was decent. Um, so you do have a nice border all the way around. It is a little off from left to right, but a very, very solid four. Um, and the price was pretty darn good on it. Um, this ran about 90 bucks. Um, and again, when you're picking up for a friend, I don't need to make money on it. Um, so I'll basically just flip it over to him for 90 bucks. So, but very nice Clemente. Um, Good shape, nice color, a um, little wear on the corners on the bottom, which is unfortunate, um, and decent centering, and nice and clean. And then this one is interesting. I'll have to get sent back to PSA to get re-slabbed, because there is a crack. Um, but 66 Fergie Jenkins rookie card in a 5 with a 10 auto on it. So it's always interesting to get the rookie cards with autos on them of Hall of Famers. 
So, yeah, there's a nice crack running through it. I'll send it back to PSA to get re-slabbed. Um, but saw the little card and basically paid um, under what his rookie card would go for in a five. So, I'm good with that. So that was the very small and quick mail day for you. <clears throat> Did get a little variety of stuff. Um, I think it did quite well. And some of the stuff's obviously going to go out right away. Um, well, one in particular. Uh, another one get re-slabbed, and the others I'll just slowly move or add to the PC. So, again, quick mail day. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, there's a little, a little bit of variety of modern and vintage, which I try and do in each of these videos. Not always successful, but I try. So, I thank you for joining me. Please remember to collect what you enjoy. Enjoy what you collect. Don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. Most importantly, have fun. Engage in the community, um, whether it's creating videos, watching, commenting, going into live streams or group chats, going to your LCS or card show, or just simply talking about the hobby of family and friends. It's a tremendous community. It's a diverse community in uh, personality and PC, and it is an incredibly supportive community. So you put a little bit in, you can get a lot out. So have fun with the hobby. Make sure it's something that you enjoy doing, and you're collecting what you enjoy. So thanks again for joining me. Hope to see you again, and bye for now.